hi guys welcome to another video so today's video i will be doing a summer heat makeup routine this this is what i'll do if i know it's going to be like extremely hot that day and i'm going somewhere and i want to wear makeup but i don't want to wear makeup this uh, this routine is what i'll do so if you want to see how i got this look all the products i use and all that good stuff make sure you keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys Okay guys, I already have primer on my face. I forgot to put a little bit of my pink pot, you know. On these smile lines. So today is supposed to be a heat advisory. Um, where I stay in Georgia. So I'm going to show you what I do on those two hot days. At first, I spot conceal with this L'Oreal Full Wear Infallible uh, Concealer. And I have this shade Coco. And this somewhat matches my skin tone. I come too close. So I'm just spot concealing. I think on days like this, like nobody really wants to wear a full face or makeup. Then I take my Real Techniques brush. I've been liking this brush, a 241 brush, to blend it out. This is a full coverage concealer, drugstore. So if you're looking for a full coverage concealer without paying a lot of money, this will be it. So you see how much coverage just that concealer gave me? I don't like summer. You can give me winter any day. Especially in Georgia. Georgia summers are different. <laughs> so that's all blended. I'm just going to take a sponge to just make sure I don't have any streaks or anything. And it's a matte concealer. The next step, I still have the L'Oreal concealers. I'm trying to decide which one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a little bit of honey. All these are L'Oreal concealers. So I'm gonna use a little bit of honey underneath my eye to highlight. Honey and what is this? Caramel. I'm going to list everything below y'all. Even though it's only a couple of products. So. You see that caramel is like way lighter. And to contour, I'm going to use Espresso. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute.
of course, my Sasha Buttercup to set this highlight. I gotta start using some of my other powders. Okay, so I was in Walmart the other day and I picked up this CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Press Powder. I'm not quite sure if it's new or not, but I picked up the shade 870 Toasted Almond and it's a 16 hour full coverage foundation. Our breathable formula blends seamlessly into skin to deliver a flawless finish. Show y'all my shade. I hope this is my shade. So that's how it looks. So that's what I'm going to set the remainder of my face with, just on a Shop Mise brush. Is this new? Hmm. Okay. Um, for a bronzer, my Beauty Bakery brownie bite thing. Y'all know. You all know I'm going to do a nude lip, of course. Lately, I've been loving this Revlon So Fierce. It's a vinyl eyeliner. It's in Mighty Mocha 861. But I use it for a lip liner. I need to sharpen it. Oh, no. I'm going to sharpen it. It says a heat wave, but it looks like it want to rain. We need it. Now I just take a random brush and let it I'm using some of my paint pot. Is that it? No, oh, this is something else. Blank canvas to lighten this up a little bit. Just on my finger. Let me see that lighten on her. Morphe Luminous Spray. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, I am back. And this is the completed look. This is my go-to when it's extra hot outside. I want on makeup, but then I don't want on makeup. <laughs> if that makes sense, this is what I'll do. This concealer... If you can find your foundation shade match, it's the perfect way to spot conceal and just throw on some powder and you're good for the day. This will give me at least 9 or 10 hours worth of wear. My face looks fresh. It doesn't look cakey or anything. So yeah, this is what I do. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.